In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a click to call button to your Shopify store. Unfortunately, since Shopify doesn't support this functionality by default, what we need to do is use a third party platform. Don't worry though, it's completely free and also very easy to set up. The first thing I want you to do is to click the first link in the description of this video, which will take you to the L site platform. Once you've clicked on the link, this is the page that you're going to land on. From here, I want you to head over to the top of the page, which is where you will see the widgets button right here. Hover over this button and then scroll down a little bit until we see the e-commerce section right here. Then look for click to call, which is right here, option number three for me. Click on that and then you'll be taken to the click to call button widgets page. From here, go down a bit and then you will see this create widget for free button. Click on that and then you'll be taken to the click to call button template section. Now as you can see on the left hand side here you have a bunch of different templates that you can choose from and then on the right hand side here you have an actual uh, preview of what each of the templates would look like on your Shopify store. Here you also have mobile view just in case you want to see what it will look like on a mobile device as well. Bear in mind that this is fully functioning here as well so you can easily uh, kind of like use it around and see what it will feel like for your users. Now in my case I'm going to go for this one right here because it's nice and simple and I like the look of it but if you want to go for any other ones feel free to do so. And by the way none of these templates are final in terms of design we can actually customize pretty much anything that you see on the screen anyway so i'm going to show you how to do that in the next section but for now go with the template that you like the most and then click on continue with this template in the bottom left corner of the screen right here once you've done that before we make any customizations we actually need to connect the widget to uh, the relevant phone number that way when somebody clicks this widget here on your shopify store they'll be able to call you so here what you want to do is add your phone number and then obviously here you can customize the button and the call window though as well. I'm not going to get into too much detail about this because it's all pretty self-explanatory. Go through every setting here and customize it to your liking. Then on the left hand side here you also have position. So for example if you don't want it to be a floating right here you can go for a left floating on the left hand side or an inline right here. Now in my case I want it to be right floating like here and then I'll just leave it at that. Then you have settings here so this allows you to customize where this widget will appear. So you can choose specific pages, devices, visitors etc. Uh, then style here, as you can see you can customize the colors, the size of the buttons and everything else that uh, you see right here. You can even add custom JavaScript and CSS if you wanted to. But yeah, uh, like I said, I'm not going to get into too much detail about every single setting that we can customize here. I'll leave this up to you to figure out. But once you're ready to move forward, go ahead and click add to website for free in the bottom left corner of the screen here. Then your widget will be saved up. Now once your widget is saved up, all you have to do is publish it. So head over to publish here in the top right corner of the screen and then you'll be taken to the plans page. Now this is where we need to choose a plan. Now since this is the first widget that we are creating through Elfside, we can actually go for the free plan right here. As you can see, it supports one widget. However, if you want to unlock more functionalities such as these here, or if you want to use more widgets, then you can always go for one of the premium plans right here. As you can see, they have quite a few different premium plans that uh, you can choose from. But in my case, I'm gonna go for the free plan for this tutorial. So I'm gonna click on select and then then what we want to do next is simply copy the code for the widget and then head over to Shopify so we can integrate it. As you can see, I'm already in my Shopify editor here on the home page. I do want to mention that it doesn't really matter where you uh, add this uh, widget because it's already pre-coded to be positioned wherever you customized it to be in uh, Elf side. So in my case, I'm just going to put it in the footer here so it's out of the way. Going to click on add section here in the footer and then look for custom liquid. Click on that and then this is going to open up this custom liquid section. If it doesn't open it up, simply look for it. It will be down here if you've added to your footer. And then once you click on it, it will open up this window here. All we need to do here is simply paste the code we just copied previously from L side. So go ahead and do that. Give it a couple of seconds and then your uh, button will appear wherever it's supposed to appear. In my case, it's in the bottom right corner of the screen here. Don't worry about this panel that you see here. This is only visible for us. But yeah, if I click on it, as you can see, people can call us and it works as intended. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to add a click to call button to your Shopify store. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.